This week at Crumble Cookies, they have the Almost Everything Bagel. This is a new cookie. They have the Iced Oatmeal, Milk Glaze featuring Fruity Pebbles, and French Toast, and it is also new. Okay, so we are going to try the Almost Everything Bagel. You might have thought we would have saved that for last. I want to try it first to, to get it out of the way because it, um, when you open the box, normally you get this uh, aroma, this very sweet aroma. The Everything Bagel changes that aroma. You, it's, um, uh, you, it, it no longer smells, it, well, it's, that, it, it's the Everything Bagel mixed with the sweet, and it's just, it's kind of odd. So I'd rather try that first. It is a, um, it's a cookie rolled in a special seed mix and topped with a swirl of softened cream cheese. So I guess this is going to be the one that's not as sweet. Mm -hmm. The cream cheese adds a lot of butter, though. It does. It almost is buttery. Don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I was expecting not to like that that much. It's actually really good. I like it, too. Now, this, uh, I, I do like, I like the texture. Mm -hmm. um, it has a little crispy edge around it, but it's a, it's, it's a, a nicely baked cookie. It's mm -hmm. not ooey-gooey. It's a buttery cream cheese flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I actually like that quite a bit. Mm-hmm. I do too. But that's not the reason I go to crumble. Yeah, I mean it's not a sweet cookie. But I think it's different enough to where if it sounds interesting to you, try. Mm-hmm. Because it is good. Yes, it is good. And mm -hmm. it um yeah, it it's it that's gonna be your one this week that is not sweet, but mm -hmm. it actually has a really, really nice flavor. If you're if you're allowed to eat seeds, I know some people can't eat seeds, but and if you can have those, then it really does have a nice flavor and, to it. And there's no caraway seed, so it's not that really strong seed that's caraway seed flavor. Right. It's you're a nice just, sesame seed. Yeah, you're just you're getting those sesame seeds. It looks like it's black and white sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. And you do get the little texture of the seeds. Mm -hmm. But for me, I guess if you're a person who's if you eat bagels and stuff like that, then you're probably used to this this exact flavor. I think they did a really good job. They did. With it. They did, and the cream cheese frosting or whatever topping. Mm -hmm. um, it's not super like strong, strong cream cheese flavor, like pure cream cheese. Like I said, it's almost like it mixed it with butter. So it's it's, it's just really good. Um, okay, so that was a surprise. Yep. <laughs> this, I have sesame seeds in my teeth for the next. I know five that's hours, all I know. <laughs> that's why I made sure I took a drink. Do you want a drink? No. Okay. This is the iced oatmeal. It is a cinnamon oatmeal cookie with vanilla cream cheese glaze. Uh, the only one they made up today, by the way, was the, the bagel, and they put the dollop of stuff on the top of the French toast. Oh, so the Fruity Bevels was already ready. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, they probably have to put it on while that glaze is wet to get it to stick. Much better looking than the first time we got one of these. The first time we <laughs> got one. Completely different. Yeah, the first time we got the Fruity Pebbles cookie, they forgot to put the Fruity Pebbles on it. And so, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a better experience. Mm -hmm. Like it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. That's good on the cookie. That's another one that's going to be for those people who don't want over the top sweet. Right. <clears throat> now, I'll tell you what. They described it as a cinnamon cookie, and that's fair. It's got a touch of cinnamon. Yeah, it's a touch. It's very light, mm -hmm. uh, very light cinnamon. They they were not heavy handed at all with that cinnamon. Uh, that no, you, um, get, you get an OD flavor too. Uh, yes, you, I. You really almost like get. A ra I know there's no raisins in it necessarily, but you almost get like it has raisins in it. I guess because I'm so used to eating oats and cinnamon and raisins together that it, it, my mind says, oh, you're tasting a little raisin, you know I'm not. Mm -hmm. It strange. even has a little bit of a chew to oh, it. Yeah. yeah, those are good. Like Very that. nice. A little bit of sweetness, a little mm -hmm. bit from that glaze, but not a ton. No, no, but I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice Yeah, thing. that would be a good, 
to accompany a drink, whether it be a glass of milk, whether it be coffee, tea, whatever you prefer, that would be nice because it's not overpowering. Right. Either one of the first two we had today could have been a morning cookie. Absolutely, yes, I agree. Now, let me, the first time we had the cereal cookie, mm -hmm. it looked like this on the top, like mm -hmm. literally this white glaze, mm -hmm. and they laid some cereal on top of it. Mm -hmm. That's what it looked like originally. This time, it's not really falling off. Last time it was just laying on top of this firm glaze. Yeah, I don't think we had a the real experience. Yeah, I don't think they put time. it together right, yeah. correctly. Yeah, so first now time. they did. Yeah, this looks right. Milk glaze featuring fruity pebbles. This is cereal milk flavored sugar cookie, brushed with milky glaze and topped with fruity pebble cereal. Mm -hmm. Smells good. The texture is really nice. Mm -hmm. Some of the cereal has turned a little chewy, but most of it's pretty crispy. It's, yeah, it's pretty crispy. Fruity Pebbles is one of those that you really need to be in the mood for it because it's strong. Mm -hmm. It is a strong, in your face, upfront, bold cereal for sure. And if you don't like it, you're not going to like this cookie. No. Because it is a strong cookie. Right. Um, it's very, very colorful and pretty. Mm -hmm. And I think they did an excellent job with this one. Um, yeah. And the flat textures, like you said, are really mm -hmm. nice. Um, it's not one that I will finish because for me, um, I need to be in the mood for it. Um, it will remind you, if you go to the store, they have the, the little treat bars, mm -hmm. the, the Fruity Pebbles treat bars. That's what it tastes like. It's just that it's a different texture, mm -hmm. but it's the exact same flavor. Once you put the Fruity Pebbles on anything, that's, that, what, you that's what you taste. But if you're going for it, that's what you want anyway. So. Yeah, they really did do a good job. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Mm -hmm. and um, it has a, like I said, it has a really good texture. Some of them have gotten a little soft, but overall. Overall, I think it's good. Now this one lost a corner. It, it did lose a corner. Uh, one, yeah, one of our corners just like fell off, but that's okay. That this is a new one. Thick, thick frosting. Uh, uh, yes, please. Thick frosting. I'm here for it. That is a, that cookie's a different texture too. It seems it's uh, very bread-like. Uh huh. Which I'm, I mean, French toast would be. Well, yeah. Uh, French toast. This is a new one. It says it is a buttery, fluffy cookie with a cinnamon egg wash, buttercream, and a syrup drizzle, and a sprinkle of powdered sugar. I don't, oh, they do have a little spot. Yeah, yeah there is powdered too. sugar on there. They did that too. Okay, here we go. It, this is a sticky one. Yeah, it is kind of sticky. I don't know if that's from the powdered sugar or just the glaze. I think it's that glaze and the syrup. They put syrup on it. Oh. Uh. They just got to go for it. That is a very, um, texture-wise, it's a very cake-like cookie, which mm -hmm. is not a bad thing necessarily. It's, it's, a, it's a really, it goes really well with the texture of the French toast that I'm It's going literally for. stuck to my fingers. It's very sticky. Um, honestly, I didn't get the flavor of the syrup, so they could have actually left that off completely, and I don't think it would have made much difference. No, I didn't taste um, any syrup whatsoever. The French toast itself, though, it looks like a piece of French toast. I mean, you got the little darker spots and the lighter spots, and it's very, you know, brown and not quite so brown. Um, the frosting's good. It's more of a... I do get a touch of cinnamon. Yeah. Once it settles in, I get that touch of cinnamon. But it's it's truly, it's more like eating a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. the with, only, with the frosting. Yeah, the only difference is they, they took that, uh, they wanted, I guess, it to look like a pat of butter. Mm -hmm. And... So they put that buttercream frosting in the middle, but if they had literally put it on top, you would it would have been, been like cake. cake. It that's that's the exact texture is mm -hmm. cake. Um, um, I'm not complaining about it because it's really good. No, I like it very very much. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and you do get that egg washy kind of flavor like you would in a French toast. Yes, uh, just know that it's going to be sticky. You're not going to want to hand it to little Jimmy in the back seat because no, yeah, it's fall apart it's too. Good. and he's going to be like it stuck to my fingers that would that's what i would do um but it is and, good and like i said it's wanting to fall apart too so it would it would fall apart and crumb just like trying to pick up a piece of cake 
it's going to want to fall apart. Yes. So you just have to be careful with that one. So what is your, uh, oh, and they also had the, the pink sugar cookie. Um, yeah, it's back again this week. Mm -hmm. You know, last the week, chip. the pink sugar cookie was good. And uh, they, that was a good um, sweet alternative. It was. I don't think it's as good as it was the first time we had it. because, And this sounds weird to say, but they've started added, adding real almond extract to it. But I liked it better before they started adding the real. I liked it better the first time we had it than the last time we had it. It's still a good cookie, but. It's good. It's very sweet. I just liked it better before they did the real yeah. almond extract. I think I like it better after they added it. I like Do the you? new version now. Yeah. I'd still rather have the chocolate chip though. Did they show you the cookies this week? No. They did not show me the cookies, but it was very clean. They had cleaned up the, the prep table. It looked like a prep table now. It was nice and clean. It had oh, just right. the supplies to make your cookies. It wasn't trays and buckets and stuff like that laying everywhere. Nothing so, on the floor? No, the floor looked good. You know, That's they awesome. had the cowbell to the door though, which kind of startled me when I opened the door. I thought I would knock something over. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I pushed the door open and it went clunk, 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 you know, like a cowbell, and I thought I'd knocked a tray or something over. I can assume and it was a cowbell. that that is if maybe there's only a worker or two that if they're in the back, yeah, they'll know we'll make that, sure they know that somebody's, coming somebody's in. in there. <laughs> it just startled me. Yeah, <laughs> that, I don't care if they have a door, a bell in the door or not. It just startled me because right. I wasn't expecting You'll it. You'll know from now on. From now on yeah. yeah, I guess so, that was an easy fix, but it's nice that it was clean. Yeah, yeah. I am surprised they they did not show him the cookies, but no, they they only did that once. Yeah, and so, I even bragged on how how much I like that, and I didn't do it ever again. So the least sweet cookie this week, um, probably the bagel one, because really it's not meant to be sweet. The I sweetest agree. part of that bagel cookie is the topping, which is more buttery than sweet. Okay, so let's since, since that's the case, nobody expects the bagel one to be sweet anyway. Out of the three, probably the oatmeal. One. The oatmeal. Yeah. I'll say the oatmeal. Although the one. you know what the the fruity cereal one is really not super super sweet either. It's more of a fruity flavor than a sweet. Flavor. It's just that fruity pebble cereal. Yeah. It's it's that it's a very um, strong flavor. Yeah. Now, if you want sweet though, French toast. All yeah, do the French toast. Yeah. But it's it's just know that it's not a cookie. Really, it's not a cookie. It's a cake. Yeah. It's in a cookie. Well, it's not even in a cookie shape because it was square. square. So, uh, yeah, this was this was just different. But mm -hmm. now, okay, now you have to pick your favorite. The French toast. Because I like that frosting. That's yeah. my kind of frosting. I like the frosting, too. Although, um, they could have put the bagel frosting on there, too. I would have liked it, too, just as much. Because um, I like that buttery cream cheese flavor. Right. I like the frosting, too, very, very much. Um, I would rather have that frosting though in a cookie texture. Yeah, and it I has would a too. Cake texture. I would too, but I like the cinnamon in there. Um, yeah, I, I do like it. Gosh, it's close with me. I like that one, the French toast, and I also like oh, the, no. the oatmeal. One. The so oatmeal is really good too. I'm gonna choose the oatmeal because it has the traditional cookie texture. It has that that cookie texture that I want and not the cake texture. So I'm going to pick the iced oatmeal. Yeah. See, I would do French toast and then the bagel one. My bagel, the bagel would be my number um, two. I really do like the bagel, it's but like good. I said, that's not why I go to Crumble. I'm going to Crumble. I'm wanting the sweetest thing I can get my hands yeah. on. So. It is sweet though. There, don't don't mistake that it is got some sweetness there, it's, but it's just mostly from the topping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but they're, they're good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you go this week, let us know what you're going to be getting. Uh, or, and uh, what's your cookie this yeah, week? Yeah, what is your cookie this week? Once you all have tried the Everything Bagel and the French Toast, do you like that? Do you like the Everything Bagel added to the rotation? Or is that one that you like, no, I'm glad they did it, but I, don't, I would rather not ever see it again. Uh, it would be nice to hear some opinions about that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. I will have pictures for you at the end. And thanks for watching.